All right, here we go. 2016 Chevrolet 2500 HD Duramax Crew Cab Four Wheel Drive Z71. Let's see, did I get all the particulars out of the way? I think I did. Infotainment Center, Chevrolet MyLink. It don't work. Well, it kind of works halfway. So let's see, will that turn it on? Let's see if that turns it on. Nope. Oh, it's dead now. It's not doing anything. That button, none of the buttons. Let's see here. Let's try this. That work? That don't work. Yep, it's dead. It's definitely dead. Dead as a doornail. What do I do now? What do I do now? It's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Like it won't even, it will not even come on at all. All right, so I guess at this point. A few moments later. Well, <laughs> we've done it now. <laughs> Here's the complete stock system out of a 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. LTZ. This truck pretty much had every option uh, you could put in one. I think, didn't it? Yeah. The only thing it doesn't have is the sunroof. Yeah, this truck had every option but the sunroof had nav, had everything, but um, so I've taken everything out and uh, yeah, it's a mess. So, here's the radio, I guess. Here's the and this is the, um, we pretty much figured out this is the Wi-Fi uh, and Bluetooth module. So this truck did have built-in Wi-Fi, never used it um, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I'm not going to pay for it, but when you got a cell phone, so that's useless. And then it had the, the CD player, which no one ever uses anymore. But there you have it. Um, so like I said, I'm probably going to go the... Alpine 11-inch uh, uh, floating screen route. I don't know yet. Um, the the only issue I have with the whole thing right now, I mean, I can pretty much do everything, I think, uh, with the uh, iDataLink Maestro to interface with um, the steering wheel, uh, the OBD2, and everything else in the truck. But I haven't figured out yet how to interface with the... Um, Bose system that's already in the truck. I don't want to replace or I want to retain the Bose amp that's in the back here and the subwoofers and the speakers. I don't want to do anything with that. I just want to do a head unit. So if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. But I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. I've seen the install videos. I've seen everything, but I haven't really nailed down how to interface easily with the existing system so anyway leave me comments drop me a like or whatever um if you want to follow this uh install process but i, I will probably end up doing it here pretty soon um i mean obviously i've got my truck torn apart so um i'm, I'm actually kind of at the point of no return so anyway catch y'all later